It's a rim. It's a rim. It's a rim. Hallelujah. Somebody say relationship. It's a place of returning. Of coming. Approaching. It's a place of intimacy. That's Goshen. Goshen means to come. To dwell. To approach. Making you stand out. When the earth is crying. Sit down where you are. Just sit down where you are. We're finishing now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's rising. Somebody's rising. splendor comes into tabernacles which is your body when you hear tabernacles is you when splendor begins to come that means it rises from within outside the enemy will be blinded the enemy will be blinded it will expose the hiding place of satan no place for him to hide because light is everywhere so he disappears into his original place I want to say, come God, it means you come. Because he will come through a man. And the brightness and the intensity of the light of men that look at him, gaze at him day and night, they look like him. And when they see things, there's a power that... We need such men now, in these scary days, so that the fear of God will be restored. And his signs and his wonders. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. In this month of Av, the fifth Hebrew month, Av is a Hebrew word that has to do with Abba. Somebody say Abba. So it's a month of Abba, Father. Somebody say Abba. Open your hands and that's how you talk to him, Father, as a son. As a maid looks up to her mistress, my eyes looks up to you. It's a month of Simeon. Simeon. And Simeon means to hear. To hear. Reuben means to see. We've met, we've left Tammuz. The month of the golden calf. It just left Tammuz. 29th July, we entered Av. Half is a biblical month. Hallelujah. Can I read it in the Bible? The fifth month. When do you see the fifth month? You're going to see it in the Bible as we take the communion. Hallelujah. I see men lighten, rising as torches. If you just type the fifth month in the Bible, you're going to be taken to the first place. It's in Numbers 33, 36. Aaron, the high priest, went up to Mount Hor at the command of the Lord and died in the 40th year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. What does it tell you? I've taught you to be prophetic sons and daughters. They dwell at how long in the wilderness? How many years now, church? And after 40 years, who died? 
not Moses. Did I read Aaron, Moses or Aaron? I said, Aaron the high priest died, what? The first day of the fifth month. After 40 years. That means a generation was gone. A generation was gone. The first symbol, the first high priest died in the month of Av. And if you read history, the next thing you're going to be in the month of Av is that on the seventh day of the fifth month in the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the Babylonians king's guard came and captured Jerusalem. If you read, you're going to see that Av had history of conquest capturing the city of Jerusalem. So it's connected to, 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 to strange things happening. And can I tell you something deep? Reuben is the last month, which is the fourth month, Tammuz. And it's in the month of Tammuz that Moses received the law. And as he was coming down from the Mount Sinai, I need your attention please. He was coming down from Mount Sinai and then he was meeting what? Aaron building what golden calf in what golden calf altar rebellion with the things that were favor in one season. Somebody's not hearing me. The gold, the incense, the fragrance, the bangles that were symbols of the Egyptians blessing them go and prosper. After 400 years, they became what? Idolatry in one season. And the one that encouraged them is who? Aaron in the month of Tammuz. And Tammuz and who? Af are connected to Reuben and Simeon. Reuben is a son of Jacob that had what? Disobedience. He was the firstborn, but he lost his mantle. You not missed your firstborn ship out of carelessness. It's a month of Abba. Af is father. So the father sits on a month that has covenant with affliction. It's a month of Reuben. Simeon has anger and Levi. If you read history, you see that they, they can kill. They, they have sword and, 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 and he has anger. Simeon. And the father cursed him and his brother who? Levi. But Levi was the priest. Aaron. So Aaron died in the month of who? Simeon. Le Aaron is who? Levi. The priest is Levi. Some of you are looking at me like I'm speaking Quran. Because there's a mystery in the old that reveals the new. Not just church goers to be bless me, bless me, buy a car and die and die, that's all. You get the car, you go to accident at Abuja Road. Some of you, God will not give you a car. You're not ready for a car. <laughs> bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him. Let me show them. I have seen what only I can do. God will train you. You will cry after he has dealt with you. You have done what only Yahweh can do. Only you. Yahweh can do Yahweh 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 The great Yahweh The name Yahweh You are glorious Yahweh You are I have sinned I have sinned What only Yahweh can do You will see You will see Yahweh, 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 come and see, come and see what only Yahweh can do. Come and see, come and see what only Yahweh can do. Yahweh, 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 the great, Yahweh, the great, Yahweh. Hey 
kai 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 abende yesu ya kai 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 abende yesu ya ni na gan ni na gan abende yesu ya ni na gan abende yesu ya yahweh By this sound, we will see. Hallelujah. In the month of Father Abba, we will see the end of affliction, the end of torment, the end of embarrassment in the name of Jesus. We decree that as we take this blood and this body, this mystery bread that symbolizes the blood of Jesus that puts to end atonement, chastisement, and affliction. Father, we thank you. We pray on this altar, as many as take this, that a new chapter will open. A 40th season year of affliction will come to an end. Father, glorify yourself. There will be no captivity. I didn't hear amen. There will be no captivity. No story of untimely death. Death, where is your sting? Where's your glory? When the Lord of glory has risen and those who die in him die no more. Father, today we receive the power to dwell in Goshen. Take it round. If you want to sit, sit. If you want to kneel down, kneel down. If you want to stand, stand. But take a posture on your spirit, man. And unlock the gates of August. Unlock the gates of Af. The month of Simeon. Month of repentance. Month of sin. What God is doing. Month of hearing. Simeon to hear. To hear. You will hear a voice. And it shall tell you, go this way. Thank you, Father. Thank you tonight. Give him thanks as you take it. If it's in your hand, just lay prayer. Commit yourself to him. Thank him for doing something new right now. Tell him the days ahead, they demand so much, so much. That when the times come for you to answer to a call, a rising, that you will not delay. Father, thank you tonight. Even those on the internet, if you can get to your room, get wine, get bread. Let's break the wine. Let's break the body together. Declare a new heaven over your life. Declare Goshen, realities of Goshen, operating in supernatural provision. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Jesus name. If you have it now, I want everybody to hold it. Then we take it together. We're going to take the bread first before the blood, the body. Jesus broke the bread, gave thanks unto his disciples and said, this is my body which will be given to all men which marks the New Testament. Anyone who takes this lives forever. And we identify with this communion, this symbol of our sacrament of oneness. Communion in the spirit as part of the tribe of the Lion of Judah. The church of the firstborn. The church of the resurrected Messiah. And as we take this, every affliction is broken. Every cursed life is blessed. Because he has become our curse and become our affliction. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Take the bread. And give her the blood. Hmm. We belong to the blood. The family of the blood of Jesus. When no member of the family dies, I have a new life in Christ. All things are passed away. Take this in memory of me. Do it often, always in memory of me. And in memory of the bloodline, as you take it, let healing come to your blood. Let your blood be replaced. Your family name change. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take the blood with every confidence. I belong to the family of Yahweh. I am standing on the covenant of Yah. I am standing on the Charismatic, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Time is fast going and spending. In the next two weeks, the Lord has commanded us nationally to have four feasts of incense around Nigeria. I'm so excited. The feast of incense will be held in four regions of Nigeria. The first is in the month of August. It's going to be held in the northwest of Nigeria. In no any other place. But where the spiritual Anglican, Anglican court and caliphate of Islam is, Kaduna. Where an ancient city is, it's called Nok. Where the mystery of Kada, crocodile, rules Kaduna. Somebody needs to hear me very well. There are things that are older than us and it's revelation that will win this world. It's not prayer. It's for those who dwell and meditate. So Kaduna is a stronghold. In the next two weeks, we will be there. Amen. And we thank God that the day has come. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray with the team. Young students who are not on salary. Young people who don't have excuse. But understand how to track the winds of heaven. They are running that. They are not workers. They are ordinary people who are at home like all of us here. So we don't say there's no money. There's money. And more than money is favor. Yes, and this commission has favor. That's why the nation is opening. God has opened Port Harcourt. River State is going to have the Feast of Incense again. Amen. So August, we're going to Kaduna. And next month, September, we're going to Abuja. Hallelujah. And from Abuja, we're moving to River State. By the grace of God. And then we end, so Northwest Kaduna, 
north central Abuja, and then we moved to south south or southeast there, the south south uh, regions there. Uh, uh, Port Harcourt. I need your prayers. We need your prayers. We need your support, blessings. Give money. Don't just mise and say there's no money. You will be rich in this season. Amen. Don't allow somebody to take your blessings. To build altars so that the days of things happening, you never build altar. We're just watching and clapping hands. God is visiting people in this hour. Some of you, listen, you need to sell your phone and buy a dream. Did you hear me? Sell your phone and buy a dream. I'm not saying put in peace of incense. Your phone is your God. There's a dream higher than the world of your phone. Okay? Some of you have phones that can pay somebody's salary a whole year. But yet you're always broke and calling people for recharge card. That thing will come to an end. Amen. I'm excited. So pray with us. It's intense year. Many things will be happening. And uh, we still want to thank God for all that have been given. People are given. Strangers we don't know. People we don't know. May somebody not take your blessings. I'm telling you, get scared. I'm telling you, people we don't know. Some of you just come be sitting every day like this, like this, like this. Lord, ever what's the need of God? What can we do? And we want God to bless you. Goshen, Goshen, and all this. God will help you. Amen. We want to thank God for everyone who is here. And I uh, want to celebrate a son in the house, a great gift to Joss, Nigeria and Africa, Larry Williams. The sound and the winds of Larry will soon be heard. We're soon going to have some interviews with him globally to speak about what God is doing in Nigeria. Let's hear the cry of the prophet, what he has brought all the way from Orlando and what he senses here. There's a sound in him. Pray with him and, 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 and begin to speak and bless him like we said. Hallelujah. And pray for the worship team, the floodgate keepers, because it's going to be intense this year. Amen? I said amen. amen. Are you excited? Have you put your offering together? Your blessings? Yes, you can put the offering account there for the ministry in dollars and in, in Naira. The Lord leads you to partner in every way, any way possible. We're having people from Kenya, Hawaii, Bob Fitz and his wife. People from uh, Liberia, Jesse Brax. People from Seashells will be coming. And uh, the nations will gather and every feast around Nigeria is international. No feast will be better than the other. Kaduna or Abuja or, or Cross River, or, sorry, uh, Rivers or Gombe is the last place, not East. And actually the people of Adamawa are crying that they needed there and Benin are crying. I said, not this year, maybe next year. And by the way, next year, Ghana has opened for us. Hallelujah. Very soon, very soon, it's going to be from one continent to the other. God is doing things. Amen? So we want to thank God for what God has done. And uh, just put your offering together. As I call on uh, Larry to, to, to pray over the offering in the name of Jesus. <laughs>